Hello, good day everyone, Rohilio here, and today I'm going to share to you India ABCs, a book about the people and places of India, written by Marcy Abdov, illustrated by Francis Moore. Namaskar. That's how people greet each other in India. They often put their palms together and bow too. Bowing is their way of saying, I respect you. India is a country in southern Asia. It sits on a large peninsula. India is about one-third the size of the United States, but it has about three times as many people. More than one billion people lived in India. Only China has more people than India. A is for art. There are many kinds of paintings in India. Some are filled with religious images. These paintings show gods and goddesses. Others are based on everyday life and folk tradition. These paintings show people working, dancing, and doing other common activities. Fast facts. In many Indian families, a bride's hands and feet are painted with beautiful black designs the night before her wedding. These designs are called mindi. Overnight, the black color dries and turns red. Red is said to be a good luck. B is for British India. India became a part of the British Empire in 1876. But even before that, the British had a lot of control over India. The British East India Company had already been gathering land and power in India for 200 years. Eventually, the Indians fought for their independence and in 1947, leaders from India and Great Britain agreed to divide the country into two. One part called India and the other part was called Pakistan. C is for cricket. Cricket is a popular and exciting sport in India. It is a ball and bat game played by two teams, each with 11 members. The British brought cricket to India more than 250 years ago. India's cricket team won its first big victory in the international cricket in 1983. That year, it beat the West Indies cricket team and claimed the Prudential World Cup. D is for Diwali. Diwali is one of India's most celebrated festivals. It is often called the Festival of Lights. Diwali is a celebration of wealth, good luck, and the victory of good over evil. During Diwali, people decorate their houses and streets with lights. E is for elephant. Indian elephants are important parts of Indian culture. They are often decorated with gold and jewels and are used in religious and festive processions. One of the Hindu gods, Ganesha, has an elephant head Hindus worship him as the remover of obstacles. Fast fact. Indian elephants lived in forests and jungles. They have smaller ears than African elephant. F is for flag. The Indian flag is orange, white, and green. Orange stands for bravery. White stands for truth. And green stands for fate. In the center of the flag is a blue wheel. The wheel stands for progress and holy law. G is for Ganges River. The Ganges River is one of the longest rivers in the world. It is considered sacred to most Indian people. They believe the river has the power to wash away their sins. Some people have their ashes scattered in the Ganges River after they die. H is for Himalayas. Many scientists believe that India was once of a part of a large piece of land that drifted north and crashed into Asia. They believe the crash created the Himalayas. The Himalayas are the highest mountains in the world. They stretch about 1,500 miles or 2,400 kilometers across northern India. Fast fact. The tops of Himalayas are covered with snow all year long. The word Himalaya means house of snow. 
I is for Indus Valley. The Indus Valley was the home of the first people of India. Archaeologists have uncovered objects dating back to around 2500 BC. These objects include well-built houses, paved streets, decorated pottery, and writing tablets. J is for Jawaharlal Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru worked hard to help India win its independence in 1947. That same year, he became the country's first prime minister. Nehru encouraged the use of technology. Many factories and roads were built in India under his leadership. K is for karma. Karma is the belief that a person's behavior affects his or her path in life. Doing good deeds will bring a good life. Doing bad deeds, however, will not only bring a bad life but also a bad afterlife or life after death. Most Indians believed in karma. L is for languages. Hindi is the national language of India, but government recognizes 14 other official languages as well. In addition, hundreds of dialects are spoken. In schools, both Hindi and English are usually taught. M is for Mohandas Mahatma Gandhi. Mohandas Mahatma Gandhi helped India win its freedom from Great Britain. Gandhi protested peacefully against things he believed were wrong. His picture is on the Indian bank note. Fast fact, Gandhi's peaceful ways and strong will earned him the name Mahatma, which means great soul. N is for New Hollywood. India has one of the largest movie industries in the world. More than 800 films are made each year in Mumbai, formerly Bombay. This lively movie-making city has been closely compared to Hollywood, California. Mumbai is often called Bollywood or Bombay plus Hollywood. O is for Odissi. The Odissi dance is a traditional dance formed from Eastern India. Flowing and graceful, it is usually based on religious themes. The Bharat Natyam dance from southern India is another well-known traditional Indian dance. P is for Paranta. Paranta is a flat bread from northern India. Sometimes the Paranta is filled with vegetables. Another kind of flat Indian bread is called naan. This flat bread is baked in a hot clay oven called tandoor. Fast fact. Instead of using forks and spoons, many Indians eat with the fingers of their right hand. Q is for quarry. Quarry is a large open pit from which stones are mined. Indian quarries produce large amounts of sandstone, granite, slate, and marble. These beautiful stones are expected to countries around the world for use in homes and in business. R is for railroad. The railroad system is very important in India. Trains are a cheap method of transportation for millions of Indians. Trains also carry two-thirds of the nation's freight. Fast fact, India's Palace on Wheels luxury train has been called one of the best luxury trains in the world. S is for saris. Saris are the traditional clothing worn by Hindu women in India. Usually made of cotton or silk, saris come in thousands of colors and designs. Each area of the country has its own designs. The most expensive saris are sewn with threads of real gold or silver. Women wear saris in different ways, depending on the region in which they live. Many Indian men wear wear dhotis. A dhoti is a piece of white cotton wrapped around the body. One or both ends are brought through the legs and tucked into the waistband. T is for Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal was built in the mid-1600s. 
the Emperor Shah Jahan had it built in memory of his beloved wife. Her tomb lies inside. Made mostly of white marble, the building took 20,000 workers more than 20 years to complete. Some people call it the eighth wonder of the world. U is for the untouchables. Indian society was once, once divided into groups called castes. Very educated people were in the highest caste. Workers were in the lowest caste. Some people were even below the lowest caste. They were called untouchables. They did the dirty and difficult jobs that no one else wanted. V is for villages. About 500,000 villages are scattered throughout India. Villages range from groups of huts to modern stone and brick houses. In most cases, fewer than 1,000 people live in a village. Most villagers are farmers. W is for winners. India's international award winners include Mother Teresa and Rabindranath Tagore. Mother Teresa received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. She was a nun who took care of the poor and sick in Kolkata, or formerly Calcutta. Author Rabindranath Tagore was the first Indian ever to receive a Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. Fast fact, film director Satyajit Ray received an honorary Academy Award in 1992. He made his films in Bengali, the language of Eastern India, but their touching stories were understood and loved by the people around the world. X is for extremes. India is a land of extremes. Its landscape includes snow-caped mountains, deserts, rainforests, and wide sandy beaches. Its people practice many religions and speak several languages. While some Indians are wealthy, many are very poor. Y is for yoga. Yoga has been practiced in India for thousands of years. It is based on the India that the mind and the body are one. People who do yoga use meditations and exercise to help improve and maintain their health. People all around the world practice yoga. Some schools teach yoga to help children build strong bodies and sharp minds. Z is for Zebu. The Zebu is a kind of humped cattle that originated in India. It is thought to be the world's oldest domesticated cattle. Indians use the Zebu for transportation and to pull carts. Fast fact. India has more cattle than any other country. Cattle are used for plowing and to make dairy products such as milk and butter. There you have it, the ABCs of India, and I hope you have enjoyed what you have learned and heard from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye!